Hi, I'm speaking with uh, Pranav Ashar, Chief Technical Officer at Real Intent. Pranav, uh, what are the issues with design complexity today? We see designs getting larger and larger. Uh, how's that af affecting uh, verification complexity? Is there a new issue that's coming to the fore? Yeah, the reality today is that uh, our design complexity is not just about size and scale uh, anymore. Uh, it's, it's a lot more about uh, what goes into the design uh, than just about how much goes into the design. And uh, uh, to be sure, uh, our scaling complexity is not going away. Uh, our chips today, uh, they regularly across the 100 million logic gate barrier. And, and going forward, uh, uh, three to four technology string generations over the next 15 years are, are, are fairly likely. So we are easily going to cross uh, the billion logic gate barrier and, and are, and are, and are going to have the scaling complexity continue to, uh, have to stay with us. Uh, but it is, it is really important to consider the other side in terms of, of how uh, what goes into the chip is affecting verification. And a great example of that is, is, uh, is the interfaces on your, on your high-end SOC today. A high-end SOC today is a true integration of, of uh, a fairly complex subsystems on a single chip. And all these subsystems, uh, they communicate with each other uh, through aggressive high-performance interfaces, a lot of which are asynchronous. And, and getting that right is a non-trivial verification exercise. What are some of the issues related to bringing these different disparate systems together in an SOC? So it turns out that uh, the basic principles uh, behind the design of these asynchronous interfaces are fairly textbook, but the devil is in the implementation details. Uh, for example, you might choose in one case to use an asynchronous uh, a handshake protocol. In other cases, it might be better to use an asynchronous FIFO uh, to implement the interface. And, and you might have complex situations where you have multiple input streams coming in uh, through FIFOs, and they interact with some arbitration logic in the interface, and, and all the logic and the asynchronous FIFOs are now mixed up uh, are together, and, and it's a pretty hard problem to, uh, to make sure that all of that is done correctly. And, and there might be other situations, for example, uh, in which you might go by the book and, uh, and use a, a two-flop uh, synchronizer uh, in the asynchronous interface, or, or in other cases, to save on, on, on some latency in your protocol, you might decide to believe in your uh, probability models of, of metastability and, and go with a single flop uh, synchronizer and so on. So there are so many details in, in the implementation of these asynchronous, uh, uh, these asynchronous interfaces, and there are so many, uh, uh, there's so much diversity of these implementations on the same chip and across chips that the getting all of this right is a very significant uh, a verification bottleneck. Uh, and 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 getting uh, uh, and doing this verification through a manual review process uh, has become almost impossible today, uh, given the complexity of these implementations and the scale in terms of, of the number of interfaces, the number of crossings, and so on on a high-end chip. So you certainly don't want to rely on that process to sign off on your chip. Uh, and also the nominal uh, uh, verification flows, uh, the static time analysis and the functional verification. Uh, they will not be able to verify these kind of interfaces because functional simulation only deals with functionality and static timing analysis is only, is only about timing. Uh, the verification of these interfaces is in some sense uh, is required to address a confluence of the two. So it's not a question of, of degree in, this, in the sense that are my uh, nominal flows able to verify uh, these interfaces to some extent. It's, it's, it's basically a step function. They cannot do it and you need something else to do it in a, a comprehensive uh, manner. Uh, and that's where real intent comes in. So real intent basically, it adds value in these kind of uh, uh, verification arenas in which uh, the manual process is broken down, the nominal flows, uh, they don't work anymore, uh, but at the same time, the verification is a first order sign off requirement. After verification is complete, are designers getting the data they need to actually find the specific areas of concern that need to be addressed? Uh, yes, absolutely. Uh, reporting is a very important focus in all our products. Uh, given the scale of the SOCs, and if you, if you look back at the, uh, at the interface example, uh, the volume of, of crossings uh, on a high-end SOC, so we absolutely need to uh, focus on precision in the report. And, uh, and anything we report to the user has to be actionable in terms of of allowing the user to quickly hone in on, on the root cause of the problem. Uh, a good example of this uh, is, 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 uh, is the situation, for example, where uh, a transition 
a transition on the transmitting flock, it uh, it gets into early uh, in uh, into the receiving flock, uh, and uh, and what our internal analysis would do is to uh, is to highlight the scenario for you, uh, and more than that, uh, it would precisely indicate uh, the logic signals whose values are are instrumental in in making this uh, uh, bad situation happen. Now you could contrast that with say uh, using simulation to try to debug. Uh, on the same issue. Uh, first of all, it's unlikely uh, that simulation is going to be able to create the scenario for you in the first place because if the scenario is a result of some corner case functionality in your state machines, uh, 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 it'd be hard for simulation to get there. Uh, but even if simulation is able to uh, create the scenario, uh, in simulation you would have simulated uh, all the logic values that your test bench and 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 you're in some sense going to be sort of buried in, in this in this volume of information that the simulator has generated, and and figuring out uh, from that the specific values and the specific gates in your in your logic uh, that cause this uh, this problem is going to be a big productivity sink. So real intent is absolutely focused uh, on on delivering uh, productivity enhancement tools in the advanced verification space. And all the design companies out there are competing with each other on execution uh, in terms of delivering uh, their advanced SOCs on time. Uh, and, and, and real intent, it, it absolutely wants to be able to enable that process.